Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy coming at y'all with another video. This is going to be my top 12 pickups of 2012. I know this has been long overdue, but I'm just getting around to, to doing it. I've been pretty busy. Um, 2012 has been a good good year for me overall as far as sneakers. I got every sneaker that I wanted besides like three of them. And those were the Miami Vice Elites or South Beach Elites, uh, Galaxy Flight 1s, and the Big Bang LeBron 9s. So, you know, I'm still hunting those down, but those are the only three sneakers that I really wanted that I didn't get this year. Other than that, it's been a good year for me. Um, as far as sneakers, but enough talking, let's go ahead and get into the countdown. Starting off with number 12, got the Diamond Turf 2 for a colorway. Um, this sneaker is dope to me, man. A lot of people have these, but it's still a dope sneaker, man. That don't take away from the fact that it's a dope sneaker. I love all red sneakers, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do too. When I first saw pictures of this sneaker, I knew they were coming back, I knew I had to pick them up. I think this is the best, um, Diamond Turf 2, the best colorway of the Diamond Turf 2, in my opinion. I like the gold hits on the side. It's just a sick shoe, man. I wore these a couple of times, but I'm really waiting for everybody else to beat that pair up so I can break my first pair out. But yeah, man, I'm glad to have this sneaker. This was a, a must cop for me when I first saw pictures of them, like I said. So number 12, Diamond Turf 2, the 49 colorway. Number 11, got the Flight 1s. Like I said before, I wanted the Galaxy Flight 1s, and I couldn't get those. I missed out on those. But when these came out, I knew I had to pick these up. These were very easy to get. They're still sitting on shelves. This kind of like became like a classic colorway because of Mike Jordan. You know, he wore these. Um, and he rarely ever wore anything other than Jordan. So this became like a classic colorway. Um, and it's just overall a dope sneaker. Like it's, it's plain, but it goes with a lot of stuff. I like the white hits on them. And I'm glad I was able to pick these up. I picked these up actually for like 60 bucks. So that was cool. So yeah, number 11, flight one. Flight. At number 10, we got LeBron 9 Lowe's. I think LeBron 9 lows are very dope, man. A lot of people say they don't like them. I do. Very comfortable. The colorways. I think a lot of the colorways of LeBron 9 lows were tough. But the only ones that I don't have that I would buy is the Floridians and the USAs. And, you know, we had the USAs at my local mall. So I'm going to go back and pick those up. But uh, I love LeBron 9 lows. Like I said, they're comfortable. And uh, I don't know why people don't like them too much. They didn't, really, they didn't really sell too good, at least where I was at. But at number 10, man, LeBron 9 lows. Coming in at number nine, we got Chicago 10s. These dropped back in January 2012. It was an easy cop for me. Um, classic, classic sneaker. I think this was the first time that they retro. Glad I was able to pick up my pair. It was good quality in my opinion. Um, at first, I was trying to get rid of them. I was trying to sell them. I wasn't really too in love with them, but after I won for the first time, I was like, man, I'm glad I didn't let them go. Now I'm in love with them. I like them, and uh, I'm glad I kept them. So at number nine, we got Chicago 10s right here. All right, coming in at number eight, we got the Jim Red Spizites. This is a clean shoe. Like I said, I like all red sneakers. Um, when I saw pictures of these, I knew I was going to pick it up. A lot of people didn't really like these, and a lot of people still don't like the Spizites, but I do, um, especially after copping this colorway. And uh, these these don't crease at all. Like, I wore these a handful of times and do not crease at all, so that's always a good thing. And the quality on these is good as well. I don't know anybody who has them that's complaining about the quality. So, yeah, man, number eight. Alright, coming in at number 7, we got the KD5s. These, I have two colorways, the DMVs and the, uh, the splatters. A lot of people don't like the KD5s, um, but I do, man. I think they're pretty dope, you know what I mean? Um, and that makes it easier for people who really like the sneaker to cop. I love the KD5s. I, don't, I didn't do a review on these, and I'm probably not, but or on feet, I'm probably not going to do either. But, um... I'm just glad I got these. I love the KD5s, man. I'm a big fan. I think Nike's going to do big things with the KD5. And uh, a lot of people are missing out on a great shoe, man, for a great price. So, yeah, number seven is the KD5. All right, coming in at number six, we got the LeBron 9 Elite Taxis. The colorway is real nice on these. Um, I wasn't able, like I said, I wasn't able to get the soft beach, but I was able to pick these up on release date. I don't know why I didn't make a video, but I'm glad I got these, man. A lot of people slept on this sneaker hard, in my opinion. Um, in my area, it's sold out, but I watched a lot of videos, and a lot of people said that um, that they didn't sell out in the area. Why? I, mean, I don't know, but this sneaker is very, very dope, and I like it. It's one of my favorite LeBrons that I own right now. So, yeah, man, number six, LeBron on the lead tax. Getting into the top five, coming in at number five, we had the bread fours. I really don't like fours like that, but when it comes to the bread colorway or black and red colorway, um, I had to pick it up. This is the only four that I own. And uh, I was glad I was able to pick them up, man. Uh, it seemed like everybody who wanted this sneaker got it because it was it was like mass produced. It wasn't really limited like people thought it was gonna be. 
And uh, that was cool. I'm glad everybody that wanted the pair got them. And I'm glad I was able to I was able to go in a day later and pick a pair up, which is rare. But yeah, man, this is a very nice sneaker. Classic sneaker. You can go with pretty much anything, man. So at number five, I got the Bread Force. Coming in at number four, I got the Dornbecker Nines. The sneaker is crazy, man. Like, I was very, very happy to get these. It's very hard to get. I was lucky enough to get my pair online for retail price. A lot of people were selling these for crazy, crazy prices online, which, like I said, is ridiculous. Um, the kid did a great job designing these sneakers, man. This is one of the best Dawn Beckers besides Dawn Becker 3s um, to date. And I was very, very fortunate and very lucky to get these. So I'm glad I was able to pick these up, man. So coming in at number four, got the Dawn Becker 9. All right, coming in at number three, we got the Playoff 12s, man. This was a must cop for me. I love 12s. 12s are my favorite number J's. I had to pick these up, and I was glad I was able to pick these up. Um, it was hard to get in my area. I'm pretty, I don't know about everybody else, but it was hard to get in my area. People was, you know, acting shady over these or whatever, but I was glad I was able to pick these up, man. Clean. I just don't like the white bottoms. I have to clean them up after every time I wear them, and I wear them a lot. That's the only thing I don't like about them is the white bottom. But other than that, man, I'm happy with the quality. Everything else is on point, man. So number three, got to play off 12. All right, coming in number two, we got the Cool Gray Nines. This is like one of my all-time favorite Jordans right here, man. Like I said in my last video, I had the 02 pair, but uh, I messed them up. And ever since then, I was searching for another pair. And so I was really, really glad they brought these back out, man. This is one of my favorite Jordans. I can't wait to wear these. I haven't worn them yet, but I can't wait to bring them out. I'm searching for a second pair. So if anybody has a, a size 12 in these that they're trying to sell or they know somebody that's selling them, hit me up because I'm looking for another pair. But um, yeah, man, number two, Cool Gray Nines, man. Very, very glad to have these, man. This is one of the must-cop sneakers for me in 2012. Must cop Jordans for 2012. So cool, great And number one, we got the LeBron Tens. LeBron Tens are by far my favorite sneaker to release in 2012. Um, when I first saw pictures of it, I knew that that I was gonna like them, man. I know a lot of people don't like them or they didn't like them, and now they finally came around. I think everybody's starting to come around on the LeBron Tens. Um, I love the colorways. Um, these are three colorways that I have right now. I actually just copped the Christmas uh, colorway, so those should be here soon. And um, I was able to cop every colorway that I really wanted. So, LeBron 10, man, my number one sneaker of 2012. All right, man, y'all saw my top 12 kicks of 2012. Y'all let me know what y'all think about them. Leave a comment below. Uh, just leave your opinion. Uh, other than that, man, 2012 has been a great year for me. As far as sneakers and YouTube, I started YouTube in 2012 with uh, 200 subscribers. And by the end of 2012, I had 1,000 subscribers. So, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching my videos, leaving comments, being positive, and just... Watch my videos and subscribe, and I really, really appreciate it. I'll give a couple quick shout outs. Shout out to my boy Kilo Kicks, Fresh Prince of Jordans, um, Mr. Foreman Simpson, DMV Sneakers, um, TMC2, DJ Drama 5, King of Kicks 805, and Sneak Steve 09. That was just people off the top of my head, but shout out to everybody who show love. You know who you are if you comment on my videos. Shout out to you, and just shout out to all my subscribers, man. Um, I wouldn't be making videos if it wasn't for y'all. And uh, thanks for always tuning in and watching my videos. 2013 is going to be a great year. I'm going to keep doing this. Um, hopefully everybody else keep doing their thing, man. Until next time, man.